étudiants. Je m'appelle um, Junior Drago et je suis ton prof de français pour aujourd'hui. Comment ça va? Ça va bien? Moi, ça va bien, merci. Okay. Pour commencer, aujourd'hui, nous allons chanter une petite chanson qui s'appelle « Où est le chat? » Je ne sais pas Où est le chat Il n'est pas là Il n'est pas sous le lit Il n'est pas sous le lit Il est sur la table Je ne sais pas où est le chat. Il n'est pas là. Il n'est pas sous le lit. Il n'est pas sous le lit. Il est sur la table. Où est le chat? Je ne sais pas. Où est le chat? Il n'est pas là. Il n'est pas derrière le lit. Il n'est pas derrière le lit. Il est devant la table. Can anybody tell me what we are going to learn today? Can anybody tell me what we are going to learn today? By looking at our chat, we can see that there are some words which I underlined here, okay? So it gives us an idea what we are going to learn in French today, okay? So, aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre les prépositions en français. Okay, so today we are going to learn prepositions in French. This is what we are going to do today. We are going to learn prepositions in French. To begin our lesson today, pour commencer, we are going to learn the preposition words. Okay? So we have sous here, as we can see. We have sous, we have derrière, and we have devant. Now, let's go back to our um, topic of our song, our title. The title says, Où est le chat? Can anybody tell me what does that mean? We have où est le chat? Mm. Okay. Where is the cat? So this gives you an idea as to what prepositions is sous, sous, derrière, devant. These are the prepositions we are going to take a look at today. So to begin, you're going to repeat after me. So we have the first preposition, siu. Okay, so we have siu. Le preposition, siu. And this preposition, it means on. Okay, so we have this first preposition here, siu. Okay, and we said that this means on. The next preposition we have is su. 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 This is the next preposition we have. We have su. Now, please note that su, su, and su, they sort of sound familiar, alike. But Actually, they have very, very different meanings and they sound different. We have siu and su. Su here means under. The next preposition that we saw is devant. Devant. We have devant. 
and devant means in front. Okay? Devant. So, devant means in front. And the last preposition we have is derrière. We have derrière. Derrière. The preposition derrière. And derrière means behind. Later on in the lesson, I will introduce you to another preposition which goes with these four. But for now, we are going to focus on these four prepositions today. Okay? So we have behind. So what we are going to do right now, we are going to répéter après moi, s'il vous plaît. Repeat after me, please. Siu. Très bien. Sou. Très bien. Devant. Derrière. Très bien. So these are our prepositions in French. Let's go back to our chart here. It says, sous, sous, derrière, et devant. Let's take the first one. Il n'est pas sous le lit. Il n'est pas sous le lit. It is not under the bed. This is the first preposition. Remember we said, sous means under. Okay, so where is the cut? It is not under the bed. The next preposition we have, sous. Il est sous la table. It is on the table. It is on the table. Remember we said, sous means on. The next preposition here, derrière. Où est le chat? Il n'est pas derrière le lit. It is not behind the bed. It is not behind the bed. So, where is the cat? Il est devant la table. It is in front the table. Okay? So, these are the prepositions we have here. All right? So, let me draw... Just, just to show so we can have a better understanding of what the prepositions mean and what they are. So, for example, we have a bed. Let's say this is a bed. This is a bed here. And then we have a cat. Where le chat? Where le chat? Where le chat? Il est... Sous le lit. Il est sous, sous le lit. Il est sous le lit. It is on the bed. If we were to take a look at another preposition to say, where is the cat? We draw another cat here. Where is the chat? Where is the cat? Il est. Where is the cat? Il est sous le lit. Il est sous le lit. Il est sous le lit. Under the bed. Il est sous. Il est sous le lit. The cat is under the bed. We can draw another cat here. Où est le chat? Où est le chat? Il est devant. Il est devant. Il est devant. Le lit. Devant. It is in front of the bed. 
And we can draw another cut here to help us understand the last um, preposition we have. Where le chat, il est derrière. Il est derrière le lit. It is behind the bed. So we have devant, in front. We have siu, which means on. We have sou, which means under. We have derrière, which means behind. So we have these four prepositions in French. OK? So we are now going to take a look at the use of prepositions in sentences. Because after we have learned les prepositions en français, we have to learn to write them in sentences. OK? We have to learn how to use them in sentences. OK? So our first sentence we have is elle est derrière la table. Elle est derrière la table. And this is our first sentence. Elle est derrière la table. Now, you might be saying to yourself, there is a response. But where is the question? Who can remember what the question is? Remember, we have the title of our song here, Oué le chat. And we can even put a question mark here to show that we are asking a question. Oué le chat? Oué le chat? This is the question we are asking. And the response, the response, elle est derrière la table. Elle derrière la table. So I'm just going to write out um, the questions. I write out the questions. So we can see. Où est le chat? Où est le chat? And we can see. Elle est derrière la table. Again, elle est derrière la table. Répétez après moi. Elle est derrière la table. Okay, so we have this one. Elle est derrière la table. Okay? Elle est derrière la table. Okay? Elle est derrière la table. Où est le chat? Elle est derrière la table. We can write another same question again. Où est le chat? Same question. Where is the cat? Le chat. Le chat est sur le lit. So we have another preposition here. Sur le lit. Le chat est sur le lit. The cat is on the bed. OK? Où est le chat? Le chat est sur le lit. Répétez après moi. Repeat after me. Le chat est sur le lit. Encore. Le chat est sur le lit. The cat is on the bed. OK? We can write another question. This time we have another animal, and it is la vache. And I will tell you what la vache means in a moment. Où est la vache? Où est la vache? Where is the cow? Okay, la vache is the cow. 
Vache means cow. Okay? Où est la vache? La vache, la vache est devant la maison. La vache est devant la maison. OK? La vache est devant la maison. La vache est devant la maison. OK? The, ca the cow is in front of the house. Now, when we are using um, the prepositions derrière and devant, you will also come across it being written like this. These two prepositions, devant, de, which is very much correct, okay? In front of, you know we like to see that, okay? In front of. And you will also come across derrière, de, behind of, okay? So, we can rewrite the sentence and we can say, elle est derrière de la table. Elle est derrière de la table, which is quite correct. It's very correct. Okay? And then, devant, the same thing applies. La vache est devant de. It is in front of. Okay? So these are our prepositions, and we have used these prepositions in sentences. All right? So we have there here, we have siu, we have devant. Okay? And we also have su. Siu, we said, means on. Su, we said, means under. Devant, we said, means in front. And derrière, we said, means behind. Okay? Remember, we also said that we can use de at the end of devant. So we say devant de. And we can also say derrière de. All right? Um, the last um, preposition that um, I want to introduce you to this morning is à côté de. Whenever um, you are learning these prepositions, it's also important to add à côté de. You will come across um, this preposition, à côté de, which means next to, okay? Next to. You will come across these prepositions in French, okay? So we have sous, sous, devant, derrière. Répétez après moi. Encore une fois, siou, sou, devant, derrière, à côté de. And we said, à côté de means next to. Now, let's do some more practice. Let's do some more practice. Um, let's do some more practice here. And I'm going to write some sentences on the board. I'm going to write some sentences on the board that you are, I'm, you are going to write the response for me. Okay? Mm. Let's just remove this here. So I could ask you, I could ask you um, this question. Who eh, question one, where my mare? How would you answer this question? How would you answer this question using a preposition in French? Where my mare? 
could use any of the prepositions and you could use it to um, say, where is your mother? Where my mare? My mare. Eh? Devant. La. Maison. Ma mère est devant la maison. And we have our preposition here. My mother is in front of the house. Ma mère est devant la maison. Remember I told you, you can also use de. Okay, devant de. So you could also say, ma mère est devant de la maison. Ma mère est devant de la maison. Okay? Let's ask you a second question. Where mon frère and where mon frère where is my brother? Okay? Where is my brother? What could be your answer for this? Okay, très bien. Il est sur le lit. He is on the bed. Okay? Il est sur le lit. He is on the bed. Where is my brother? He is on the bed. We are just um, using um, sentences to show um, the use of um, prepositions, how we use prepositions in sentences. Um, we can also say that prepositions um, are used when we are speaking about location in French to say where things can be found. Okay, so this will come. When you um, get to um, location in French, these prepositions, these words will also come up, okay, to say where certain things can be found, the location of certain things. So we have devant, sur, two of them, Three, another question. Où est Nathalie? Où est Nathalie? Where is Nathalie? Où est Nathalie? Where is Nathalie? Nathalie est derrière Um, la voiture. Nathalie is behind the car. Nathalie est derrière la voiture. And we have our preposition here. Nathalie est derrière la voiture. Okay, just to go over our sentences here. Just to go over our sentences. Where ma mère? Where is my mother? This is the first one we have. Where ma mère? Ma mère est devant la maison. My mother is in front of the house. Number two. Where mon frère? Where is my brother? Where mon frère? Where is my brother? He is on the bed, okay? We see we have ill here, okay? Où est Nathalie? Nathalie est derrière la voiture. Nathalie is behind the car. The last preposition I introduced you to let us try to um, write a sentence using it. Okay, so our same question applies. Where ma sœur? Where ma sœur? Where ma sœur? Where is my sister? Where ma sœur? Where is my sister? Where ma sœur? Where is my sister? 
L à côté de moi. Mm. You see, we have this here. Um, some students, when we get to um, the word moi, they usually say it would mean je. But moi, we have here, means me. Okay? Where is my sister? She is next to me. Okay? She is next to me. Okay? She is next to me. All right? So let's go over our questions and our responses. We have, Où est ma mère? Où est ma mère? Ma mère est devant la maison. Remember I said we can also use de. So our sentence could also read, Ma mère est devant de la maison. Number two, we have, Où est mon frère? Where is my brother? Il est sur le lit. He is on the bed. So we have the pre preposition on here. Number three, Où est Nathalie? Where is Nathalie? Où est Nathalie? Nathalie est derrière la voiture. Nathalie is behind the car. And number four, we have, Où est ma sœur? Where is my sister? And then we could say, Elle est à côté de moi. Okay? She is next to me. À côté de moi. So these are the use of prepositions in sentences here. And I have taken the time to underline all of our prepositions and their use in sentences. And remember I said that it also speaks of location. Okay? It also speaks of location, saying where things can be found in French. All right? So if we go back to our song here, go back to our song here, we have, Il n'est pas sous le lit. It is not under the bed. Under we learned today, sous we learned today means under. Where is the cut? It's not under the bed, but where is the cut? Il est sous la table. It is on the table. Il n'est pas derrière le lit. Where is the cat? Where le chat? Il n'est pas derrière le lit. It is not behind the bed. Where le chat? We keep asking the same question over and over again. Where le chat? Il est devant la table. It is behind the table. Okay, so we have our prepositions here, and they're used in various sentences. Okay, so again, you are going to repeat after me. Going to repeat after me. We have the preposition, siu. Repetez après moi, s'il vous plaît. Repeat after me, please. Siu. Très bien, siu. And what did we say siu means again? Très bien. It means on. It means on. So we have siu. The next preposition we have is devant. Devant. Très bien. Devant. Devant. And we said devant means behind. Okay? In front. Excuse me. It means in front. Devant. Okay, and what did we say about devant again and its use? Très bien. We could use de with devant. Devant, de. Okay, so we have devant in front. And then we could also have devant, de in front of. The next preposition we have is derrière. 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 And what did we say derrière means again? Très bien. We said derrière means behind. 
We also said something else about the preposition de here and its use. We said that we can also use de with it at the end of it. Derrière de. Derrière de. Okay? Derrière de. Derrière de. Derrière de. Um, and the last preposition. Oh, this is the fourth one. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Third. Okay. We have sous. Sous. And we said sous means under. Sous means under. This is what we said. We said sous means under. Okay? And the final preposition we had here that I introduced you to is à côté de. Just remember that whenever you are learning these prepositions, devant, sous, um, derrière, and sous, à côté de must be used with them. Okay, it comes together. All right? So again, let's just go over our prepositions we learned today. Devant, sous, derrière, à côté de. Okay? And we also had, um, last one we had, sous. Okay, so we had these prepositions. Devant, sous, derrière, à côté de, and sous. Okay, so I hope everybody learned um, something today in French, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. So, à tout à l'heure, à la prochaine. Merci bien. Au revoir, classe.